everyone. Welcome to Confidently Be You. My name is Jennifer Shlomovich, and if you have ever felt conflicted about making the right decision for yourself, then this video is for you. Today I'm going to share with you a little presentation I put together called How to Trust Yourself, Three Keys for Confident Decision Making. Having a journal handy or grabbing one later and re-watching this video will be helpful for you when going through the exercises I'm about to share with you. Journaling is a powerful activity that allows us to unpack and process all of the mental clutter we have jumbled in our heads. The act of writing out our thoughts and feelings allows us to gain inner clarity on our lives. Key number one is first asking yourself how you are feeling about the situation. Checking in on your feelings about something or someone is a very crucial step with making decisions. Decisions about jobs, relationships, friendships, family, or where to live are all major decisions. Making these types of decisions can be especially be challenging when others around us may not agree with the choices we want to make. If something feels right or wrong for you, that is the first step in determining what is right for you. Journaling about your feelings is a great way to start this process. Once you get clear on what your feelings are, then the next question to ask yourself is why? Why are you feeling this way? Perhaps a certain career change excites you. Maybe moving to a new city feels good to you. Perhaps there are red flags about a relationship or friendships that are trying to get your attention. After you get some clarity on your feelings, it is then time to move on to key number two, how does this decision support your values? I'm going to take a moment here to really dive deep on the important role values play in our lives. Our values are the foundation of who we are. When we live a life that supports our values, we feel happy, peaceful, and fulfilled. When we live a life that doesn't support our values, we experience a lot of frustration and discontent. Our values are our guide, and they are the foundation of who we are. Fear-based values cause you to take action to avoid something. This can include a fear of judgment from others, like our parents. They are the have-tos or shoulds you feel in life. You can tell if a value of yours is fear-based if you say, I have to or I should before doing something. Conscious-based values allow you to take positive action. They are the want-tos. These are the values that are authentic to who you are. Force equals fear-based values. If you feel you need to force yourself to do something, that means it's a fear-based value. Flow equals conscious-based values. When something lights you up and excites you, those are decisions that are in alignment with who you are. If you are not certain about what your values are, it is easy to take on the values of someone else. This leads to people-pleasing and uncertainty about your identity. Once you are clear about who you are and what you want, you will feel confident about making decisions that support that. Our feelings indicate whether our values are being supported or unsupported. When we feel angry or frustrated about something or someone, that means one or more of our values have been challenged. If you feel triggered by something, you can ask yourself, what value of mine just got triggered? For example, you have a friend who is always late. This really annoys you because you are someone who tries to be punctual and usually gets someplace a little early. You value punctuality. When we feel happy and fulfilled, that means one or more of our values are being supported. For example, you are loving your new job because you get to be challenged in new areas, unlike your last job that kept you stuck in a rut. You value growth and this job supports it. One way to uncover your values is to think of times you were upset about something or someone. What values got challenged? Then think about times you have felt good about something or someone. What values were being supported? Here is a little values exercise I put together. First, let's look over this sample list of some common values. 
There are many more that are not reflected here. Take some time and review this list. What are your top five values? Feel free to add any you may not see listed here. Once you have written out your top five values, it's time for you to write out your definitions for each of them. It is important to know what your definitions are for each of your values, so you can determine if you are living in alignment with them. Then review your list of values and your definitions. And then ask yourself, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not at all and 10 being completely, how are you living your definition of these values? After you've rate rated each value, ask yourself what needs to change? How would your life be different? And what if nothing changed? Key number three is visualization. Once you get clear on your feelings and your values, then the next step is visualizing your different options. Think about the different choices you can make about something you are trying to decide about. As you visualize these different options, how are you feeling? How do these decisions support your values? Journaling about this can be very helpful in your processing your decisions. Here's a little review about what we went over today. Key number one, what are your feelings? Does a decision feel right or wrong for you? If feeling uncertain, list the pros and cons. Also, why or why not you feel this decision is good for you? Key number two is how does this decision support your values? What values are being supported or unsupported? Does this decision involve fear-based values or conscious-based values? Are you feeling force or flow? And then key number three is visualize. List the different decisions you could make about the situation you are feeling stuck about. Visualize what your life would be like for each of those decisions. As you visualize these different options, how are you feeling? How do these decisions support your values? And how do they not support your values? To wrap up, I want to bring up a couple of points. First, when it comes to decision making, remember there is a reason for every season. We make decisions based on who we are and what we think is best for us at the time. Worrying about past decisions or making mistakes with new ones just adds to stress and anxiety. Doing what you feel is best for yourself and trusting yourself along the way will lead to feeling more fulfilled because you are being authentic to who you are. We learn, grow, and evolve as we move along on our path, which leads me to my next point. You don't need to have everything figured out all at once. The next steps reveal themselves after you take some action. It is like driving a car at night. The headlights illuminate the road as you move along. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below. And if you would like more support, you can sample coaching with me by visiting my website at www.innerclarityofjms.com and schedule a clarity call. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.